The next step of this process is, is the rings, okay? They gotta be fit to the cylinder. You wanna take your time doing this. So we're gonna open them up, see what we got. There's the rings. It's a four stroke engine, so there's basically five pieces here. The thin ones with the corrugated is the oil wiper ring. We'll check those last. Then there's a chrome ring, which is the top compression ring. And then there's like a cast iron ring, which is the second wiper ring. And the direction they go in is the tops are marked. That always goes up. Same with this one. You can see it's stamped in there. So the first one I want to check is the compression ring. I want this gap to be at the front. So I'm going to push this in. And I'm going to use a piston, the new piston, to square it up in the bore. Okay. And I'm going to rotate this around so you can see the gap. There's the gap. Now, there's a little bit of calculation you want to do to find out what the gap is. You measure the bore. Then I put that in my calculator. 3.383. Here's the application chart. And since I'm just a dirt bike ATV, it says the top ring bore times four thousandths. So I go times 0 .004, and I should have 13 thousandths clearance. So I'm going to grab my feeler gauge, grab the 13 thousandths. Clearance. Well, this is 13.5, so I'll grab the 14, check that. And it's really tight. So I can I can assume that this will be good because 14 doesn't quite go very good and 13 does. That's the top ring. Pull that out. Now I'm gonna do the second ring. Okay. Looking for the mark on the top of the ring right there that has to go up so I'm putting it in and it goes this way again I'm going to use my piston to push it in the bore and square it up I have to do my calculation again which is 3.383 times and this time for the second ring, it's times 0 .005 moles. And that ring should have, looks like 16.9 or 17 thousandths. So I get my 17 thousandths feeler gauge out. I'll turn this around so you can see it. So right there, if you can see the gap, I'm gonna, and the 17 fits, I'm gonna go the next size up, which is an 18, and it shouldn't fit. And it doesn't fit in there, so I know the gap is good. And I'm gonna remove the ring carefully. And that's how you check the ring end gap before you put your piston together. Put your rings on the new piston before you put it into the bike. Start with the bottom oil ring, then the second ring, and then the top ring. Take note in the illustration where the gaps of the rings need to be in relationship to the front of the engine. Now that we've checked our clearances on the new piston and the rings, and we know the orientation it needs to go to, we're ready to assemble the engine. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.